So Cody's been here for a few days and I'm gonna introduce her to my dogs, Pippa and Maggie. First, I'm gonna get Cody out and I'm gonna bring her outside here. And then I'm gonna go back inside and get my two dogs, Pippa and Maggie, and let them just interact and, and see how everybody gets along. Cody, come. Come on, good girl, freak. Go out there. Come on. I'm gonna shoo everyone away right away. Kind of just get them out here. Don't want anyone kind of running up on each other real quick. I want it nice and calm. And honestly, this is great. My dogs are ignoring her. That's great. And Cody did run up on Maggie a little bit, uh, but then she immediately read her body language. And, and then I also was just kind of making everyone walk the same direction, right? Kind of, hey, let's move this way instead of getting each other's faces. And we really just don't want any negative interactions. Maggie, come here. Oh, calm down. Her hair gets raised all the time. It's not, it alone isn't an indicator of anything negative. This is all positive right here. This is all good. Good job, girls. Very good, smelling each other out, hanging out. Good boy, good girl. This is a, could potentially become an issue, right? Me petting one dog, my dog, the other dog comes up and interacts. Cody was slightly pushy there. My dog could have taken offense to that and tried to guard me from her. She didn't because that's not Maggie and we're nice and safe, but just keep that in mind that that kind of interaction can be controlled and can be limited. If there's any kind of issues between two dogs in a home, the other dog will have to wait patiently while I pet the one dog and then you can swap out because we don't want them getting jealous and taking that. I don't know what this is, but it's perfect. <laughs> I don't want them getting jealous and, and taking that to, to a bad place, right? Like a fight. What are you doing, Cody? Just hanging out? What are you doing? Good girl, yeah, I love on you, come here. Oh, that's a pretty girl. That's a pretty girl. The dogs don't have to interact, but when they do, it has to be calm and cool. Nothing bad happened, right? No growling, no snapping at each other, no nonsense like that. Calm and cool. You can check each other out, smell each other's butts, but nothing negative. If anyone starts anything too much, any kind of escalation, that's a tap on the e-collar and a no from me to get that, that business knock, just knock it off, right? That's really what I'm saying. But this is great, this is great. Uh, too many people I see try to wor over worry about their dogs interacting and we really wanna see them having fun and playing. Not every dog wants to have fun and play. Maggie's kinda one of those dogs. She doesn't really always play a lot. Um, so to me, my goal is just nothing bad, right? I don't need great. I don't need good. I just need nothing bad, especially the first few times we're interacting, just nothing negative because I want them to learn to be neutral around each other rather than having a negative experience because once they have that negative experience, <laughs> it becomes something you have to work against, right? And we have to train against. And, and we just want nice, cool, calm, go along to get along, no drama. Good job, y'all.